This is a quick tutorial for Outlook um, on how to save your emails into files um, outside of Outlook. Now, as you see, I've got email storage here, but that's, that's for um, an example's sake. We'll say we want emails for 2015 only. So for this year I'm going to be storing emails in here it could have other breakdowns the sub menus and whatever because this is quite useful for people who, who work on multiple projects and they may want to just keep all the files but really don't need them in their email box um, they, they might just want to stick them on a subfolder somewhere or if they've got the same problem I do where the, um, the company limits the, the email boxes um, you can take all the files out because sometimes you get drawings and stuff and they just don't fit because um, they don't give you enough storage space uh, for this uh, demo what I've done is I've created a little um, folder called saved emails so stuff I wanted to keep I'll drop in there and you end up with these couple of emails here as samples um, I've also created this email storage folder and 2015 for this year and basically all you do is just control a which is which is all and just drag and drop now these guys here I don't need because we've moved them across now so if I click delete they're gone but what you got here um, is two two emails that we actually wanted to save now if you double click on them they'll open up you know there was it was a blank email anyway but one of them's actually got sample written in it see sample um, there's a reason for that but obviously the fact you got with newer versions of Windows they also shows email on the right hand side of the menu um, now this email it was from myself to myself um, so let's see you should be able to search for the sender there you go so it knows I sent and received that um, you can also search for the name obviously so that's the name of the files but it also searches within there um, so if you've got text you're looking for it can find it inside the emails very useful for locating stuff on projects where you might have a drawing number or something that you are struggling to locate um, you know it's an email but you don't know where but if you've got an archive set up like this where uh, let's get rid of that it's all in email storage with the different uh, years which is this is why it's useful for me because I can actually store it um, on the cloud as well as keep an a offline copy for uh, a backup that I can actually keep everything all the way back to um, when I started archiving um, but I thought others might find this useful especially if you work in uh, CAD drawings and things like that where you end up with huge files that you don't really need in your email box but you do want to keep them and with this it keeps them archived in the format that you received them and obviously it keeps all the dates of when they were made and everything's just um, kept in order okay thanks for watching